Actually, uh, I had a bit of an interesting couple of days. I had a shocking journey yesterday. It took me three hours to get into school. Got home with a tiny bit of snow in Cambridgeshire that just paralysed everything. Got home to my wife last night. So you won't believe the day I've had. And tomorrow, I've got assembly first thing in the morning. The head's coming to reserve me period two. I've got year eight ICT period four. I've got to deal with some kids who kicked off yesterday. And I've got to leg it to London for the teach me. And bloody Stephen Drew and Alistair Smith are presenting as well, so there's a bit of pressure. And she just said to me, gave me that pitying look that wives often do. And she said, well, what are you presenting about? And I said, well, mindset. And she went, yeah, that thing where you strive over challenge and you don't give up and you really put the effort in and you put yourself <laughs> out of your comfort zone. And I went, yeah, yeah, I'm really impressed. She went, shut up. Shut <laughs> up. Now, I'm, I shouldn't be too uh, surprised that she actually understood because I do talk about it a lot. And just out of interest, if you want to share this idea about mindset, and this is all about Carol Dweck's work, so just as a quick show of hands, if you've read Carol's book, can you put your hand up? There's not nearly enough people who have read this work, so it's even more, I'm even more happy that I, I'm going to talk about it today. If you want to share Carol Dweck's explanation about mindset, can I just recommend... Oh, sorry, can you just play that clip? Just for 20 seconds, where it's clip. Fantastic clip. Talks about the difference between growth and fixed mindset. Great music. And if you send me a tweet, I'm quite happy to send you the link of how you can get this from YouTube. It really summarises very well what it's about. Okay, if I can move on from there, thank you. Now, like I said before, I probably shouldn't be surprised my wife understands what I mean about mindset because I do go on it quite, quite a lot. It's changed the way I think as a leader. It's changed about the way I think as a parent. And I really would advise you to, to, to explore this work. And I've started a new job in September as a deputy in a new school. And I wanted to see how the land lies with mindset with the students in my, in my new post. So I, I did a survey using Google Forms, which if you're going to the Teach Meet next week, I will share with you. I'm going for my Teach Meet hat trick next week by uh, presenting another Teach Meet. And I teach all of year eight. I teach them ICT. And I, did, uh, I took a survey, which I'm also quite happy to share. You can get it off the internet, but I'm quite happy to give you the link. And uh, I tested their, their opinions about their mindset. And this is what I got. 42% of my year eights have a fixed mindset. I have 160 in my year eight. Now, obviously, that's a bit of a concern. These 42% student, are students who think it's not worth making the effort for risk of failure that when they're born, they're born with the set amount of intelligence that they're going to be given, and there's not a lot they can do about it. And I think that's a real tragedy. And I, I really delved into, these, uh, into, these data, into this data and thought, well, what exactly is, is the issue? And question one on this questionnaire, if you've not seen it, it says, you have a certain amount of intelligence and you can do nothing to change it. 38% agreed or strongly agreed. Forget about changing your courses. Forget about your curriculum. This is something we have to focus as school leaders you can't do anything with school improvement if we don't do anything about its mindset. And finally, my daughter started school this term, September. She's five. This is her first, second certificate she got from school. Now, you'll understand why I was absolutely made up about this. For enthusiasm for learning and always having a go. I can protect my daughter and I can bring her up to have this attitude. I hope I can do whatever I can to secure her over the next few years in secondary school. How do we look after the students who don't have the support we can give our children? Thank you.